Alrighty, welcome back to Minecraft 1.3.1 and you're here with the Gaming Grandpa. Today's episode is going to be uh, setting up and raiding the bonus chest plus some first day basics. First of all, uh, in order to get that bonus chest you have to go down to uh, more world options. So give it a name, we'll just call it 100. And we're playing in uh, survival. Make sure that we're on the large biomes because that's a lot more fun. Put the cheats on because you may need them. And then uh, for sure bonus chest on. And with that we say create us a new world and let's see what we got. Alright here we are. Ah forest. We like forest. There's the bonus chest. Yahoo! First and foremost four flares, or I'm sorry, torches really put you in good shape. It saves you probably at least three or four minutes in the first day. The second thing, if you really want to save some time, is open the chest, look for a, a uh, the hardest uh, hatchet that's there, axe, and then chop the whole thing up and you instantly have everything. Just to be sure, let's look at our inventory. Yep, we got everything. We've got food, we've got axes, we've got uh, uh, pickaxes and now uh, n next thing we do is run to the nearest tree and chop it down. Anyone that's uh, seen the game and grandpa before n knows that rule number one is you can never have enough wood or dumb chickens. Here's a chicken with a death wish. Thank you. It's gonna be dinner tonight. Alright, first day uh, basics. Uh, what you need to do is create a uh, Survival shelter and a survival shell. Oh, another chicken with a death wish. Hello. Yes, sir. Mm hmm. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you. Anyway, uh, survival shelter. It's going to be about three blocks wide by as many blocks deep as you, you need to to begin to create a, uh, a ceiling that's at least three blocks high. That is the two that are over your head and the and, and the so, the top of the block. Let me get some dirt here. Okay, we'll make make some walls. Doesn't have to be anything elaborate because what we really want to do is have a place to be safe from the zombies before the sun goes down, before it gets very dark. Now we we want to be able to get through the door also, so it, it needs to be a have a top on those two uh, blocks. So we'll go up here and complete our ceiling at the at the three block level. It must be noon. Okay, so now we have a door. And we're working on a ceiling, but uh-oh, I think I'm out of a uh, Yep, I'm out of, of dirt. And the good thing about using dirt as a construction tool is you can dig it with your hands and you, you uh, it'll keep zombies out, which is the most important thing. So, three more. Alright, now let's go inside. And the next thing we want to start looking for is uh, stone. And stone is usually either back two or three uh, dirt levels or down two or three dirt levels at the most. So, uh, We'll dig. Nope, and we'll open the ceiling up real nice. Good news is we've got, got our ceiling material right here now. All right, we've got a roof over our head again. Looking for stones. Aha, there's some. Um, all right. The reason that we're looking for stones is we need to get eight stones so we can make a kiln or a furnace. And we also need stones so we can make stone uh, tools, even though we got stone tools in our bonus chest today. Yahoo! You don't always get that. Could that music be a little more irritating? All right. I'm counting these as we go. We're, we want to get eight. Let's see. Uh, looks like I got enough. So now we need to create a crafting table with uh, four slabs, which you can get from one uh, one chunk of wood. Four slabs in a square, and you've got a crafting table. 
And note that you could make, uh, uh, if you had charcoal, you could make uh, torches there, but you can definitely do it here. Now we make the, uh, put the stones in a square pattern like that, and we've got a furnace. And now we want to open the furnace and use some of that wood on the top and the bottom. The bottom ones will become, uh, well, will burn, and the top ones will become charcoal, which will become not only our, our torch uh, medium, but also for cooking our food. So let's cut some more wood while the sun's still up. And you'd always prefer cutting with a stone uh, axe over a wooden axe because it, it's faster and you probably take down twice as much wood in the same amount of time. And I don't care how much wood you gather. The only, the only time you have too much wood is when you run out of daylight and you're up a tree. Done that before. Alright, one more tree and uh, we're going to go uh, make some more charcoal and cook some dinner and spruce up our house a little bit and wait for the sun. We're going to be safe tonight. Anybody that's ever been caught out on their first night knows that's not any fun and once you uh, learn that, you uh, don't put wood in the door. Dope. Didn't mean to do that. I meant to put dirt in the door. Come on. Rookie. Okay. Dirt in the door. Now, with in a one-by-one one square there with a uh, flare in it, uh, zombies can't get through that. But you can see out and see when the sun comes up. Yahoo! All right. Let's put some wood. Well, let's get some charcoal out. Let's put some more wood in there and make some more charcoal. And uh, we have to cook, too, even though we've got a couple of apples. Let's see how our food uh, situation is. All right. Take the wood out and put the, put the chicken in. Come on, chicken. Right. One more. like watching paint dry. Oh, need, need one more uh, piece of charcoal. Thank you very much. Okay, now we've got food. And it looks like we don't need any food right now, which is good. You, you, you rarely do on the first day unless you uh, really do some, some humping. And we're not planning to do that. Anyway, it looks like we've uh, built our survival shelter and we're ready to uh, spend the night so that was uh, your uh, raiding the uh, bonus chest and uh, this is Minecraft 1.3.1 I am a game and grandpa don't forget to subscribe and come on back for more uh, we're gonna do more exciting things in the future see ya